So today on Untactical Advice, we're going to go over something new that we haven't done before. First, we're going to start with an unboxing of the Rucka Truck Squid Buggy that my nine-year-old has saved up his money for and it finally arrived today. So we're going to do a quick unboxing and then we're going to go over some more Untactical Advice. Okay, well here we go. I'm going to let uh, my grot here rip the cellophane off the box and then we will see what the contents are inside. So what was it about the squig buggy that made you want to save up your money here and buy this guy? Uh, I really just like its name. I like how it looks and I like how it, they shoot their own pets and it basically some of them just blow up. I like how some of them bite, and one of my favorite weapons this um, the squig buggy has is the what's it called? My, the squig mine. Yes, yeah, so that's kind of cool. I'm interested to see what the squig mine is actually going to look like. It's I'm pretty sure it's this thing right here. The flat, unhappy looking guy. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at what we got. What we've got is rules here, so that's pretty sweet. The instructions, whoop, as I smash the camera, sorry about that guys, did not mean to do that. Let's take a quick look in here and all of our instructions. This may take us a little while to build if it's anything like the snaz wagon, but that's all right. So, oh, we got a painting guide just in case you want to use what they're doing. Great, but that's not the fun stuff. Here's the actual sprue. Also, the whole thing comes on a single sprue. Interesting. So here's all of our pieces. Here's all of our little squig dudes. There's our guns. This looks pretty cool. It might not be that bad to put together. We will have to see. But it's all on one sprue. There's a lots of nice and big pieces there, so this might not be bad at all. I'm looking forward to seeing how this is going to turn out. And when we come back, we will go over the rules for that segment of our untactical advice. So we will see you guys very shortly. Okay, so let's go over the stats here real quick once again. Power rating of 7, movement 10, weapon skill 4, ballistic skill 5, strength 5, tough 6, 9 wounds, which is pretty nice actually, getting that extra wound from the other buggies. Uh, except for the scrap jet, of course. Four attacks, leadership six, and a four up save. Now you can have either one or three of these in a unit, and uh, each model is equipped with a heavy squig launcher and saw blades, and each model's crew is armed with a squig launcher, shotgun, and stick squigs. So that means we're going to be able to shoot our heavy squig launcher and our regular squig launcher, as well as uh, the shotgun and whatever else we got in here. So let's take a look first with the heavy squig launcher. Now, before we do that, actually, let's go down to the grot gunner. Add one to hit rolls for attacks made with this model's heavy squig launcher. So it's actually going to be hitting on fours. So that's actually pretty sweet. So now both of these uh, guns are very similar, but heavy squig launcher. We got the bile squig, 36 inch range, assault 2d stick six. Strength asterisk. This weapon always wounds on 4 plus unless it targets a vehicle or titanic unit, in which case on a 6 plus. No AP, 1 damage. But 2d6 shots is alright, actually. Your bitey squig is assault 2, strength 5, minus 3 AP, and 2 damage flat. That's really nice. Big fan of that one. The boom squig, 36 inch again. Assault 2d3, strength 6, minus 1, and d3 damage. So not as reliable as the uh, bitey squig, but you're going to potentially get more shots with a 2d3. Um, or at least the same amount of shots. Now our shotgun is 12-inch range, assault 2, strength 3, 0, 1. And if the target is within half range, add 1 to the weapon strength. So if you're within 6, you're going to get strength 4, but still not, not too fancy. 
Now, our regular squig launcher, now this is the one that's going to hit on 5. It's basically got the same profile as above, but with less shots. So instead of, for example, the 2d6, we're going to get the d6. So it's not, not as good, but essentially we're looking at pretty much the same thing. Now our stick squigs, we've got 6 inch range, grenade d6, of course, just 301. And our saw blades are plus 1 to our strength, so that's going to give us uh, strength 6, minus 1, and 1 damage. So it'll be good against any basic infantry. Okay, so into the abilities here. We've got Here We Go, Mob Rule, Daka Daka Daka, and Speed Mob. Now we've already gone over the Grok Gunner. It's going to add 1 to your hit rolls for the Heavy Squig Launcher. Now, Riding Shotgun. When this model shoots, it can throw a grenade and shoot with its pistols in addition to any other weapons. So if you're in range, let her buck. Just uh, shoot at whatever you can. Now, Explodes. If reduced to 0 wounds, on a 6 it explodes... And each uh, unit within 3 inches suffers D3 mortal wounds, so that's okay. It'd be nice if you could get the 3 out there. Now, for the interesting part here. The squig mine. So, once per battle, in the movement phase, set this, this model can deploy a squig mine. Sorry about that. At any point during this model's move, Place the squig mine within one inch of it and within three inches of any enemy model. The squig mine is represented by the squig mine model, but does not count for a model for any rule purposes. So that's kind of neat. It's actually a very, very small little squig guy. It's, I could see it getting lost very, very quickly. From the start of the next phase, that squig mine is detonated if any unit, friend or foe, moves within three inches of it. Resolve that detonation after the unit that has detonated has ended its move. When a squig mine is detonated, roll a d6 on a 2, 3, it inflicts one mortal wound on the target that detonated it. On a 4, 5, it inflicts d3 mortal wounds on the unit that detonated it, and on a 6, it inflicts three straight mortal wounds. And then it's removed from the battlefield. So it's only one mine. I wish we could lay about three of these out, or one per turn, or something would be great. Having it only be once per game, once per battle, it's fun, but I mean, it's, it's nothing to write home about either. So this model comes in at 140 points. Now, I would have to say it's probably a good 25 points or, you know, anywhere around that area too much. It's a really fun model. It's got a lot of fun rules. Um, the clan that I think would probably suit this the best would have to be the Evil Sons because it is slower. It'll get that uh, extra 2 inches, putting it up to 12 inch movement. But it's not just that, it's being able to advance and still be able to shoot at your regular ballistic skill. So having that uh, Grot Gunner being shooting on 4 for your heavy squig launchers, uh, that's a, kind of a big deal for a unit like this. So Evil Suns seem to make the most sense to me if you're going to be getting this type of model. Now, this is my son's. I kind of want one myself, just because I do appreciate how hillbilly and redneck it is. Uh, the guys on the back, there's just a lot of detail. There's a ton of squigs in this, a lot more than I realized. Um, all I have my son's right now, it's just prime black, and it's not showing up very well in pictures. So uh, you go and search some for you guys' self, but it's, I mean, there's a lot of detail to this kit. Um, it's a mono build, a mono pose, there's not much you can do with it that way, unless you're far more creative than I with your kit bashing and converting. But as a stock model, I actually really, really like it. It's one of my favorites. A uh, big fan of how redneck it is. Um, like I said, it's a fun model to play. It's not really a competitive model. Having that nine, nine wounds, one extra wound, than the majority of the other new buggies is really nice as well, but it's still only one extra wound. Um, yeah, it's a fun unit, absolutely a fun unit to play in the game. It is not, however, competitive, I would say, probably even a little bit. But if you're running a fluffy army or you're just having a fun game with friends or whatever, absolutely bring it out, and it is a ton of fun. So there's really not much else yet to say about this. I appreciate you guys uh, watching this and listening to me rant a little bit. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.